MacBook screen in comparison to how big this screen is. That is ridiculous. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. John Green here back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be doing an unboxing of this portable 16 inch portable monitor by Magic Raven. Let's go ahead and unbox and see what all comes inside this package. Okay, on the back, it actually tells us what all comes in the box. Then we'll have a USB-C to USB-C data cable. We'll have a, a USB-A to USB-C cable. Uh, the portable monitor itself. Ooh, even a cover for this uh, device, as well as an HDMI cable and a quick start guide. No, oh, let's get this opened up. All right. As a padded inside, don't need this for anything. This must be the quick start guide. All right, but I'm pretty sure this will be self-explanatory. So let's just continue with the unboxing. Okay, so this, I take it, would be the portable monitor, I would think. Ah, yep. So this is the portable monitor, and this is the cover that it comes with. That can also be used as, I'm guessing, like uh, something that you can use to stand this monitor up. This thing is pretty thin. Let me uh, show you a side view of what this actually looks like. This thing is thin. This is my, <laughs> my hand, and the top part of the monitor is even thinner. I see a USB-C port right here. Well, USB-A to, uh, I'm guessing, uh, HDMI or something. We'll see shortly when we see the cables. But then we have this menu toggle wheel. We have the power on and off button, as well as a headphone jack. On the other side, we have two USB-C ports as well as a mini H, mini or micro HDMI to HDMI cable that should be used for that, I imagine. So, you know what that is, so I'll set that over to the side. And we'll see what else comes in the box. All right, if I open this, I can see there's a charger brick, a screen wipe, three cables. And these are likely the cables that were mentioned on the outside, so. USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to USB-A, and then the micro HDMI to a full size HDMI. So nice, put those over to the side. All right, so one of the things that I'm curious about is, you know, does this need its own power source or can it be powered up directly via a monitor? Wow, this is a huge display. So, so in order to rest it at where I want it to be, boom, I'll do it just like that. I suppose you could even come down another level. This would be height one or two, and this would be height one. But essentially, you, because this is so rubbery and it gives it a bit of grip, this can really stop anywhere it wants to, but securely it locks in at those two heights. In case you can't see it, this is the 16 inch screen. But let's go ahead and get this plugged up to see what it actually looks like. Uh, beside like a laptop display. Now, I'll be utilizing my MacBook in order to connect to this device. My MacBook screen in comparison to how big this screen is. That is ridiculous. Yeah, and I know that's probably a little bit difficult to see there, but all right. So if I take the USB-C cable and I plug in both USB-C ports, one to the monitor and then one to the laptop, let's see if this automatically connects the display. All right, whoa, and it does. That is freaking sweet. So currently it is in an extended display setup. So if on my Mac, I come over here to display, go to display settings. So it opened the settings over there on that side. So I can actually use this to mirror what I'm seeing. And that's pretty freaking cool. Yep, so right now I'm mirroring my current laptop setup and it's showing up on this big display. So I'm excited to see how this holds up uh, when I utilize this while I'm traveling for uh, workflows or whatnot, just to get a sense of how having that extra screen on the road impacts my workflow. But yeah, on the side, we have that menu rocker that we saw earlier and at the bottom there allows you to I didn't realize it could detach. But on the bottom there, you can see that you can control the brightness, contrast, as well as HDR. So that's pretty cool. Of course, I'll need to do some more playing around with this device in order to get a feel for how it works. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on 
having a monitor this size while traveling. As always, folks, thanks for viewing, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.